All right, it's time for an extended showcase of the new Shin. Um, UR gear, of course, we'll be using him on PvP, mostly geared, because it was the opposite for the other videos, mostly, mostly on ungeared. And then uh, also for costumes, I have, of course, five here, almost one for, uh, two upgraded, one on, uh, almost, right? Uh, weapons, like this. Haircuts, same thing I said in the Roxy video, they brought back Shin and Roxy as new characters, and like new units, and they didn't, break their co they didn't bring back their costumes, which is so stupid, because I did not buy Shin and Roxy's costumes, because when they initially came out, I was in a whale, so I passed them, because they weren't amazing, and I was only buying costumes for characters that were amazing, because I was in a whale, but now, <laughs> it's different, I will buy them right now, unfortunately, but regardless, um, I use Shin quite a bit, actually, um, at this point in time, and I have to say, Roxley, Roxley, why did I even say it like that? Roxy is far superior, but Shin is still very good. The only issue is that Shin gets omega cocked by Goddess Liz. He is just like Zeldris. So, I'm bringing him on different teams. The first one will be this one. Honestly, this team, he will shine less because King and Handy assume will take a lot of the, uh, the, the spotlight, but. His passive is that once he attacks someone that has a debuff, he will guarantee crit, and he has, uh, you know, Spike, which has double crit damage, and of course I did give him attacking crit damage as his UR gear. So this team should work well, and but should be, again, to be fair, King and Handy works well with whoever, like, you know, like, it doesn't matter, it's the best team in the game, it's the most consistent team in the game, you're most likely gonna win, whatever match you, you play using, using them. But, we'll see. Again, if I attack someone that's debuffed, you will guarantee crit. So, that's the whole point. Another king in handy. Ooh, is this blue Liz? Yes, it is. Not good. Not good at all. I can't attack her. Actually, I can do this. This will not kill her. Let me go kill that king. Yeah, I knew. Good damage, actually. Very good damage for a type disadvantage. You know, I have to tip-tap, you know, around the Elizabeth because I don't want to kill her. Oh yeah, I won. I won. No matter what he does here, I won. We're gonna kill that king. Um... To be fair, he could heal quite a bit. But I still think I'm okay. He healed for 16k right there. Is he using lifesteal food? Is he using lifesteal food? <laughs> nah, I don't think so. I hope. Alright. Let's do this. 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 Alright. She could have attacked the vision first, if I knew, but of course. You're dead. I'm gonna kill Liz with this. So Handy will get the ultimate. Yeah. Handy gets the ultimate, and he cleanses. But I already won, of course, because, you know. What's he gonna do? I mean, he can ult my king and kill him. That would be, you know, very unlucky, but it's fine. Shin should do really good damage on him because, you know, type advantage, so I should be okay. Alright, buddy. Okay. King's dead, most likely. Yep. And it's very easy to 6-6. Six, six. He's in part 1 banner. I if you weren't those people that saved part 1 tickets, you definitely, you know, have him with a few dupes. So let's, um... Target Handy. Because he is annoying. The debuffs are, clear, like, very annoying. Debuff him, so he shouldn't get the guaranteed crit. Pretty good damage. Mm, yeah, Shin's most likely dead, but it's okay. I, I only have one card of him. His AoE card is good. I actually, you know, need some more playing with it. Um, ceiling level 2 cards is very interesting on paper. But, you know, on practical it's a different thing. But you know, nice damage, because it guarantees crit, right? No matter what, 
Even if the effect isn't the greatest, the guarantee crits will always carry him a lot, because it's such a great passive, right? Alright, by the way, I just faced that same person again, and I just quit, because there was no point in putting the video. But, this guy is using... Is that just coming in? Okay. The Droll. Really hope Shin can absolutely obliterate him. That would be nice. Put the debuffs. Hopefully he won't move a card draw so I can actually... Uh... I mean, I could debuff him again, it's not an issue, but... Ooh, I have two. In any case, if he, he moved the card, okay. If he... Oh, he's gonna just... Yeah, I was thinking, if he does that, that would be an issue. Because then I can debuff him again. You know what? Shin should be able to kill you. Even though it's type disadvantage. I think he should. Well... Oh, this Lucille definitely has an HP and defense, huh? I should have checked. But it probably has HP and defense, it has a lot of HP. Makes sense, like, a lot of people probably gave Lucille HP and defense, because, uh, you know, his passive works as, um... Hmm. His passive, you know, you need to, um... LCC the enemy, so HP and defense is better. Okay. He's going for Joel's ultimate. No. Alright. Thought so. Okay, let's do this, right? Ouch. Let's attack with you, so you heal a little bit. And then we do this, and this. I can't ult, Joel will steal my ultimate, but it's okay. There was one last vein card in his hand, and 72k level 1. That was pretty good. That was actually pretty good. Can't ult though, because, you know, Drill. Unfortunately. But last, uh, next turn, I can definitely kill Drill. But Zell just also got the ultimate. It's okay, um, I can use, you know, King and Handy's combo to take off the ultimate gauge, so. Uh, there's a bleed already, so I need to apply Shock, which is this one, yeah. And then Poison. And that might kill Droll, so I'm gonna attack you. Yeah, it definitely kills Droll. Mm -hmm. It crit lost Vayne, which is unfortunate. Didn't kill, but he's gonna lose the, the ultimate gauge. Nice. I got this, which is great, because he has he has to take off my ultimate gauge. So yeah, he can't use both Lost Vein cards. So he's gonna you know have one in hand, and by sealing his uh, level two and threes, he won't be able to use that card at all. Or he can quit. Either or. All right, so this will be my last uh, match with this team because I want to try other ones. So start off with the usual. Try other teams, especially because, you know, this one is, is a team that really um, takes away his spotlight a lot, you know? The the King and the Handy work so well together. It really doesn't matter whoever else you're putting there, so... Okay. I would have actually loved to have uh, this level 2 here in the turn 1, because then I'll completely deny him from using this level 2 card he's going to use right now, yeah. But it's okay. <sighs> okay, so... Let's do this. Which damage didn't you go for, my guy? level 2 cards for both of them. 30k. He is definitely using Red King in the back. My damage is very subpar. He's definitely using Red King in the back. It's level 3 card from Derriere. Whoever, whoever is being attacked. Oh, it's a boost. She's still gonna lose the ultimate gauge though. 
Because um, it's already there. Oh, it's not anymore! Hmm. Issue. That's definitely an issue. And yeah, most definitely he's... Um... Yeah, th this damage is pitiful. He's definitely using Red King in the back. The thing with Shin is that he doesn't have Pierce. He just doesn't. <laughs> he has... I should have checked. He has like 30% Pierce base, which is awful. Like, not 30, like 20 something? 20 something percent Pierce, which is awful. Maybe I should try him on the Pierce team, see how much damage he would do. Yeah, he's dead. Very unfortunate damage by him. Like, he did like nothing on Gopher. He did like nothing. Which is very unfortunate. Like, I was really hoping he would do well. Because, you know, he's guaranteeing those crits. So you'd think, right? If he's getting guaranteed crits, then you know, he would do really good damage, but... Not the case, unfortunately. She doesn't have any debuffs, but this might kill her. Uh, let's jump into another match. Let's uh, let's put another team. Wait, wait, let me confirm. It was Red King in the back, right? No. He was just doing no damage. Odd. Really odd. Does he? Let me check this guy's go for. Does he have like three pole defense set or something? He might have. You take a look. If he doesn't quit. No? It's attack? Attack and defense. Shin was just doing no damage. I don't know what it is. Alright, so changed up and now I'm using Green Easton. Boosting his spears should be really good. Um Okay. It's definitely an issue that he has. Let's do this. Because, it, like... I don't know if I showed his stats, but he has like 26% pierce and... It's not good. It's definitely a reason why he doesn't hit as hard as he could. Well, that was much better. 81k on level 1. That was definitely much better. Another one like that, okay. But yeah, so if I want him to hit well, I'm gonna need, need to uh, use something to boost him up somehow. Also using Death Pierce in the back, so this team is a much better damaging team for him, for sure. Let me finish killing him off. Yeah, 93k on this one. Yeah, much better damage. I'm oh, sorry, I, I hit my leg on the desk. Uh, much better damage coming from him. If I use a team that actually revolves around him a little bit more, right? Oh, he's using Green Gale Thunder. I would have hit much harder if he, was, he wasn't using Green Gale Thunder. That's crazy. Alright. I'll attack Seal. I'll Seal level 2 cards. And I guess attack option. Oh, but it. Hmm. I was thinking... Uh, Attacking Gil Funder because that advantage, but should attack probably Zeldris. That would give me the most uh, advantage, I guess. Oh, that's unfortunate. No more buffs for him. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Let's go and attack Zeldris. I'll still go like this because I want to seal level 2 cards. Hopefully still kill Zardus. No, 53k. Yeah, we found the Pierce boost from Easton. I don't know. 
He definitely lacks the pierce, man, which is really unfortunate. It's like, I wish a Super Awakening gave him pierce. I don't know what it does. I should check. Now you can actually check. Oh, I, I think, actually, I think you can only check before you Super Awaken. But we'll take a look either way. Um, yeah, I wish a Super Awakening gave him pierce, because it definitely needs it. Still killed. Nice. 61k. His passive is like one of the best passives in the game though. Being able to guarantee crit so long as the enemy has a debuff. It's not that big of a deal. So many units debuff, right? Like so many units are just debuff by nature. Okay, let's uh the match is done. The ult. Uh, if I don't debuff them, the ult will not guarantee crit. But it should still kill. It's the same ult as, you know, uh, Blue Skinny King, or whatever Skinny King. It uh, ignores resistance, which is a very great ultimate. Not a buff. It's a great ultimate. Yeah, so let's do this. It will not crit because they're not debuffed, but... Well, it won't crit because they quit. Alright. Blue Lilia. Lost Vein and Liz. Ooh, big money. Alright, double rank up Easton. Missed, okay. Seal up your ultimate gauge. Hopefully he's not using a void. If he is, I'll actually cry. Okay, because I just noticed he doesn't have three ultimate gauge, so the chances of him having a void are pretty high. <laughs> um... Hmm. Do I dare? Try to kill Meliodas. Ah, uh, that shield is annoying though. Um, you already used up Chameli cards. I might be able to break the shield. I don't know about that. I don't think I'll break the shield. I should have attacked level 1 first. I do break the shield. I was carried that win. He can't cleanse. So he would have to take this ultimate. Oh, he can take off ultimate gauge. No, he can't because attack sealed. He can stun. Yeah, he can. Let's, uh... Oh! Another shield? Oh my god. I hate Goddess Liz. So much, man. Alright. I hate Goddess Liz so much. Another shield, man. He's gonna take off my ultimate gauge, isn't he? I hate Goddess Liz so much. Please tell me he doesn't have another shield. Please. You have to be kidding me. Right? You're kidding me, right? so much I wish there was a blacklist like a, a block list option just every single match I would play in this game I'd block Elizabeth from the matches every single match without question I'll block Elizabeth I just want to use my cards they, okay, here's the thing this is why I'm not attacking these two cards don't work if Liz is using a shield if Liz has her shield, these two cards don't work. Oh my god! What are the odds? Sealing them from losing level 2 cards, so you can't stun anymore. And you can't use your attack cards because they're going to be level 2. Oh, they didn't up. You can't stun anymore! And can't take off ultimate gauge either. God damn! You can shield up still. Of course you can. Can't stun nor take off ultimate gauge though because of Shen. But you're probably going to shield up. Because you gotta shield every turn. Every turn!
burn! He got a shield! How? What are the odds of that actually happening? I need to know. What are the odds of that happening? I definitely need to know. Uh, Attack of Vision second because um, Goddess Liz's shield, shield cannot be crit on. So... We should break the shield first. So then I can crit. You still lost in the end. You just made it longer. <laughs> for no reason. Uh, but he has level 3 with Meliodas. That's scary. What food is he using? Because he wasn't using old food. Maybe CC food? His CC was quite high. Yeah, he definitely kills Gopher. <sighs> so I can't debuff him. Unless I get another one of these. Which I didn't. It's only for one turn, right? Yeah. <sighs> Don't crap. Why did I even say? Why did I even say that? I hate Goddess Liz so much. So much. She cocked him so hard. Like, actually, she cocked me so hard by existing. Goddess Liz absolutely cocked me so hard for existing. And she will cock... She will cock Shin every single time because of her shield. And because of her vibe. Because here's the thing. Shin is the same unit as Zeldris. And Zeldris gets cocked by Liz. So instantaneously Shin get, gets cocked by Liz as well. I hate her so much. So, so much. Alright. Um, last team I'm using for geared here. I'm using Ludosio. Because I had a very similar team with Zaldris. And he is a unit that works... Just realized. I was gonna say. He's just like Zaljus, right? But Zaljus doesn't need a debuff, so. I can't use this team. For him. I think this would be a great team. I, I still wanna use Ludosio, because he reduces the difference with his stats by 40%. But I'll have to use someone else. To debuff. Maybe Kyo? Kyo could work. Issue will be if I face a... Crimelli? No. If I face someone... No, oh, Crimelli. That's using... Because th this doesn't count as a debuff, I'm pretty sure. Let me, let me see if I kill you. If I face someone... That's using cleanse. He'll cleanse the... The ignites. Very easily. It doesn't count as a debuff. 95k though, because of the CL. Damn! Yeah, I just... Oh, 95k. I just need... Probably Kyo. I'll go with Kyo and see how that'll go. Oh, I'm so hopeful of, of uh, this team because the Lost Vein is so good with the CL. Yeah, lucky. Lost Vein is so good with the CL. Because oh ho, 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 got the ultimate. Can I? Can't debuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't get the ultimate because of the thing. Oh, unlucky. And I can't debuff them either. Hmm. Can definitely still kill you even if I can't debuff you. Um, it works so well for Dosio because you know reduces the defense with his stats and then Meliodas ends up hitting super hard, right? But unfortunately. Neither Ludosiao does lost neither Ludosiao or Lost Vein uh, debuff, right? I missed that part. Alright, let me let me change Lost Vein for Kyo and see how they'll go. Okay, so yeah. The more I use Shin, um I must say that he is a little disappointing to me, which is really upsetting. Revive. Revive cucks him so much. Which is a little upsetting, you know? Because Shin... 
is like my favorite character design wise in the whole game. But I can't deny, he's just a little disappointing, you know? Because you see his passive, passive, you see his card, and you think like he's gonna be super dominant. But it might just be the meta, because every single time I face Liz is what happens, I just get mega cocked. Now, I don't know if I... I can still kill Lost Fate, I think. Because, um... I should be able to break the shield real quick. And kill, yeah. <clears throat> But it just, I don't know. He just doesn't work that well. Nice kill, nice. Might just be the meta, I don't know. Like, I think it, it is, for the most part, his pierce rate. His pierce rate is incredibly low, so it's the fault of his name. Because, you know, you can only change stats on different names. So while he's still Shin, he's... Not gonna be, you know, the craziest thing. Ah, oh, nice. Once you see <laughs> if I can kill you. Shin? 96k, damn. Okay. And kill did 112k. Very helped by the Cell, of course. Very, very helped by the Cell, because uh, reducing the uh, defense-related stats is really good. Level 3 shield, then he's gonna ult, okay. Um, I'll play one more geared with this team, and then I'll move on to ungeared. But between the two, right, between him and Roxy, I'm glad Roxy is the uh, the first rotation, guaranteed. Because she is most definitely better than Shin. For sure. I would definitely say she is better than Shin. Wait. Damage test. Level 1. 123k. Nice. Alright. Commitment team. Um. Can I kill Drow turn 1, is my question. Mm, no. 101k though. Oh, yes! I <laughs> can. Nice! Kyo is doing more damage than Shen, which is a little sad, because Kyo has HP and defense. But you know. Alright, let's go to um, Ungeared, and think of a good team for him. Alright, ooh, this guy is using Shin, Green Shin, mm. full human of course, and I'm using Lubosial, lower the defense, Easton boost the pierce, Kyo ignites to max, make sure that um, her passive is procced, so let's do this, kill the Roxy because she's honestly the one that, try uh, that I'm scared the most, oh wow, that was really good damage. Alright, she's gone, so... Less carry now. Interesting, I guess he doesn't have... Um... What's it called? <clears throat> Kyo? Because he's using... The, uh, the Lilia? Because Kyo is also a human, could have used him. But I guess he doesn't have him. Lilia is very good though. The healing is really, really good. Ah, uh, no Shin card. I mean, I have this one. I guess I'll use it. Just because, really. This. This. And I'll kill Shin before he starts to ramp up. If he ranks up every card in the- Ooh. Yeah, for Ignites, he just starts popping off, doesn't he? Alright. Oh. A lucky matchup for him. Same person. It's gonna be the same outcome. I mean, this time, if Kyo crits, then... Unfortunately. Alright. Ooh, I'll CC by a little bit. Okay... Don't know why he quit. Like, the... He had a king team, it's not like... Alright. Alright. Don't quit, please. I want to play. 
Uh, revive. I'm gonna go for him though. Let's do this. Actually, I wanna make sure that he dies. Let's do this. 37k, type this event is not bad. Nice. Took away his revive. I just I just wanna make sure King is dead. If his shields 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 shields, yeah. Up. Double damage against buffs. No Shin single target though, which is unfortunate. But it's okay. He didn't single target with King, which means that he didn't heal that much, which is good. He didn't shield up either. So this, this, and this will make sure that he's dead. Yeah, this man pops off when there's four ignites. Ooh. Should have AoE'd again. I, I didn't know, you know. If I knew that he was gonna kill King, I would have AoE'd again. With um, either either, you know, either Lucille or Shen. Kyo pops off once the enemy has like four ignites. That AoE card is so strong. Alright. Stun... Shin. Unfortunate, because I was going to use Shin's card. Oh, he was dead. Okay. But it's okay, because um, Ludociao takes care of the rest. Oop, oop. And just to make sure you're dead, because you're the most annoying. Ooh. Lowering 40% defense with stats is too good, man. Alright, last match. I know the video ended up being very long, but it's mostly because I like to really put my hands on the unit and just use them a bunch, you know? So I really know if it's good enough. Um, I'm doing this because honestly, not only King is very scary, but also Meliodas, so I want to kill him quick too. Mm, I should have... Maybe should have attacked Meliodas, it would have killed him. Yeah. King, he's really strong. Like, the thing about King that makes him really good is his crit resistance, but of course, Shin completely bypasses it, so I'm very confident attacking him. But still, should have attacked Meliodas. And he's gonna heal. Mm. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. This. And this. This kills King for sure. Oh, I should've... Nah, this still kills him. Yeah. I was thinking I should've attacked with Easton. Okay. Uh, give me a Shin card, because that would be very helpful, actually. Because if he heals again... Okay. Need me those single targets, you know? That'll heal him quite a bit. The melee, ugh. He has two AoEs. If he does, that's unfortunate. I mean, I don't think I lose, though. I don't think I die. Yeah. Close, but not there yet. Alright. Let's, uh, let's kill you. Good to see Ooh, 52k, huh? Same thing for Easton, but, you know, his was type disadvantage. And Easton's was type advantage. That's a big deal. I might lose, actually. If he double attacks me here. With... Ah! Ooh. I think I'm good, though. I think I win. Ooh. Yeah, big hit here. No debuffs on them, though. Ooh. You know? This will boost them up a little bit. Boost me up a little bit. I think this guarantees me to win. Crit? Okay. That one crit was probably necessary. Alright, uh... Honestly, I like Shin, but I have to admit, for the most part, I think he is a little disappointing. I think that 
um, for what he, you know, looks like on paper, I, I, I think he looks better than he actually is, but it might just be how the game is run. I should have attacked with Luciel. Luciel is. Luciel does more damage. He does more damage. Um, anyways. I don't know. Really odd. I like him, but I don't know what to make of him. While, like, <laughs> Roxy, I know she's insane. Shin, I think, is good. Yeah. <laughs> 